Mr. Silly lives in Nonsense Land, which is a very funny place to live. You see, in Nonsense Land, everything is as silly as it can be. In Nonsense Land, the trees are red and the grass is blue. Isn't that silly? In Nonsense Land, dogs wear hats. And do you know how birds fly in Nonsense Land? No, they don't fly forward. Really is a very silly place indeed. Which of course is why Mr. Silly lives there. Mr. Silly, in fact, lives in quite the silliest looking house you've ever seen in your whole life. Have you ever seen a sillier looking house than this? Now, this particular story is all about the nonsense cup. You see, in Nonsense Land, each year they hold a competition. And the cup is awarded to whoever has the silliest idea of the year. And Mr. Silly had never won the cup. But each night, lying in his bed, he dreamed about winning it. In order to win the Nonsense Cup, Mr. Silly realized that he would have to think up something remarkably silly. He pondered over the problem one morning at breakfast. Incidentally, you may be interested to know what Mr. Silly was having for breakfast. He was having a cup of coffee, into which he put a spoonful of marmalade. After that, he had a cornflake sandwich. And to finish, he had a boiled egg. But being Mr. Silly, he, he had the shell as well. Now, isn't that a silly breakfast? Anyway, this particular breakfast time, Mr. Silly was thinking how to win that cup. He remembered two years ago when Mr. Foolish won the cup. Mr. Foolish, who was a friend of Mr. Silly's, had won the cup by inventing a car. It was quite a normal car, apart from one thing. <laughs> Isn't that silly? Mr. Silly thought and thought. He even had another cup of coffee with, with marmalade. That didn't help either. So, he decided to take a walk. On his walk, Mr. Silly met a chicken wearing Wellington boots and carrying an umbrella. Wouldn't it be silly if you didn't wear Wellington boots and carry an umbrella, he said to the chicken. Meow, said the chicken because animals in Nonsense Land don't make the same noises as they do in your country. It was in the middle of Mr. Silly's walk that he had his idea. It was a beautifully silly idea. Quite the silliest idea he'd ever had. He hurried into town and bought himself a pot of paint and a paintbrush. Huge crowd assembled in the city square to see who was going to win the cup. The king of nonsense land mounted the specially built platform. One of the silliest ideas of the year is by Mr. Muddle, the farmer. He has managed to grow, of all things, a square, a square, <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me, a, a square apple. The crowd clapped as the square apple was held up by Mr. Muddle for everybody to see. He felt sure that he was going to win. However, said the king, and Mr. Muddle's face fell. We have had an even sillier idea entered by Mrs. Nincompoop. It was a teapot, quite the silliest teapot there had ever been. The crowd broke into thunderous applause. I therefore have great pleasure, announced the king, in presenting the nonsense cup to... Yes, then he looked up and stopped in astonishment. Now, in the middle of the square, there is a tree, which always been there. And it was at this tree that the king was looking in astonishment. What, he cried, has happened to that tree? Everybody turned to look. The tree had green leaves. 
bright green leaves. <laughs> not, not red leaves, like all the trees in Dobson's Lamp, but green. There was a gasp from the crowd. It, it, it was me, piped up Mr. Silly. I painted all the leaves green last night when you were all asleep. A green tree, exclaimed the king. Who ever heard of a green tree? A green tree, shouted the crowd. How silly! And they started to applaud wildly. <laughs> Mr. Silly smiled, modestly. The king held up his hand. I think, he said, that this is the silliest idea I have ever heard of. And therefore, I award the nonsense cup to Mr... What did you say his name was? To Mr. Silly. The crowd cheered and cheered. Mr. Silly went pink with pride. And a bird, perched high up in the branches of the silly green tree, looked down. Woof it said, and flew off, backwards. Thank you.